Hey everyone, Randy here, back with another $1,400 stimulus check update, third stimulus package update, and fourth stimulus package update. There is a massive amount of stimulus that is actually yet to be sent out that we're gonna be collecting, not just for the remainder of this year, but actually during tax time as well. But before I do, just wanted to remind you that if you're new to the channel, go ahead, click that subscribe button, join the Late Night Grind community. I'd greatly appreciate it. This channel's really been growing and I really appreciate all the new subscribers. All right, well, let's get into it. So one of the things that made the third stimulus check plan extremely popular besides the $1,400 stimulus payments was of course the child tax credit. And as we know, this was basically an expansion of the child tax credit in where they, they nearly doubled the size of the child tax credit. And we're going to allow people to receive about half of that in the form of monthly payments from July to December. So if you have a child under the age of 17, you are going to be getting a $3,000 child tax credit of which $1,500 was going to be paid out uh, over the course of about six months from July to December. So roughly $300 per month. Uh, recently, Janet Yellen, who is the treasury secretary, she basically has the leeway. Uh, to say if these payments are actually going to go out monthly or if there's going to be longer intervals of payment. So maybe quarterly or maybe even a one-time lump sum payment of this child tax credit. The IRS has an extremely heavy workload, but we're going to be seeing, and I'm going to be following this really close because obviously there's tens of millions of people with children, with dependents, that are gonna be looking for this child tax credit come July. At first they said there was going to be a portal set up for people to go in and manage this. I have not read anything about that that is even in the works, but I'm trusting that it is. The other part of this is that for those that were unemployed during 2020, now if you've already paid taxes or elected to pay taxes on your unemployment before you received it, you could be getting that back in the form of a tax credit or a tax rebate when you do your 2020 taxes. Being that the stimulus plan that made that 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 made that actually possible was not until 2021, you're going to be able to file when you do your 2021 taxes and claim that tax rebate for, for the unemployment money that you received in 2020 or 2021 on that 2021 return. Now, depending on what the rest of your tax return could look like, that basically could look like an additional one to $2,000 of stimulus money going in your pocket. Now, some states tax unemployment revenues and others do not. And where I live, there is no state tax on unemployment. However, however, I've read that there are 13 states that do tax unemployment that have yet to sign on and waive that first $10,200. Because in the stimulus package, it was basically just the federal taxes that you won't be paying taxes on for that unemployment money. And from some of the comments that I've been reading on my videos, especially the ones geared towards SSI and SSDI that have been waiting so long for these $1,400 stimulus checks, I see that a lot of you have checked the Get My Payment Portal on Saturday and have said, yes, it finally updated. It looks like my payment date is pending for April 7th, which is what the IRS said I would get the check. Now, that does not mean everybody. I have seen some comments from people that have said they've checked it and it's not yet updated or it still says no information. And just please be patient. April 7th will be the check will be the date in which most people on SSI, SSDI, uh, will get their funds delivered to them electronically as a direct deposit or on your direct express card. And so as we look to this fourth stimulus package, and it's really starting to hit mainstream media uh, with all the all the Democratic lawmakers talking about pushing for more stimulus, a fourth stimulus check, or ongoing monthly stimulus checks, we're gonna be talking about that a lot moving forward. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button because I'm gonna continue to put out content following this stimulus plan. And I hope that you find these videos very, very informative. If you haven't, check out the community tab on my channel. I have a bunch of polls asking people people. Uh, the latest one, what you guys are actually doing with your stimulus money, uh, whether you're paying bills with it, whether you're saving, investing. Uh, I'm just really curious to know. Also, drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys think of the fourth stimulus package, because as of right now, it doesn't include any stimulus checks, at least in part one. So are you going to continue to support all the spending on the infrastructure bill if it doesn't actually have any stimulus checks that would directly hit your bank account? I'd really like to know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video.